Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to look at the Samsung soundbar. The model is Q600A. So let's take a look. Here's the subwoofer. We have more stuff here. Here is the remote. I like how it looks. It has a very nice matte black finish and everything smooth except the volume and the woofer it uh, sort of comes out here are the batteries next you have the the bar so you can install the sound bar on the wall then we have the power cable for the subwoofer i think or one or the other we have another cable here this is so you can power one of the items. HDMI cable. Instructions. How to use the remote. Oh, this is how to install the soundbar. And here are some instructions. The soundbar looks amazing. I like how it has a grill on top and a grill on the front. And it has some matte black finish on the sides. And as you can see, it has the Samsung logo on this side. And it's clean on top. And it has some buttons on top where you can push in. The soundbar measures about 38 and a half inches in length. And about two and a quarter inches in height. This is the back of the soundbar. It has a very nice finish. The inputs are not on the back but at the bottom of the soundbar and here they are. It has a HDMI on top, HDMI arc second and then the optical audio last. And on the other side, you have an, a USB input plus the power on the bottom. I like how it's designed this way because you can run the cable through here and you won't be able to see the cables running anywhere else. As for the USB drive, I'm not sure if there's enough space. You could also get a, an adapter and then run it maybe over here where you can just plug it in somewhere else. So let's plug it in. So let's turn it on with the remote. With this button you can select Bluetooth, USB. And then you have the volume. And once you set up the woofer, sound mode. Then you can mute. Then here you have trouble. Bass. Audio. Center. Top. And then you have the play button in the middle if you have the USB drive connected. So for now let's pair it with Bluetooth. Let's play some music. And this is using Bluetooth. Well now we can connect the 
subwoofer and you don't have to run any wires to plug in the subwoofer so as you can see let's play some music and then connect the subwoofer without doing anything As you can tell, the subwoofer connected by itself and right now it's a zero so you can put the base up and down from here. So you can lower and raise the volume by your phone with your laptop or whatever you're playing your Bluetooth from and you could also raise the volume or lower the volume with the remote. It sounds pretty good. It has a very nice clear sound and you can hear the sound from all over the place. And the bar it doesn't look too big or too small it all depends on what kind of TV you have but this is a very nice combination and you could add the other two speakers for the back to create a more full surround sound it has 360 watts coming out of nine speakers I like the way it sounds it sounds very nice and clear you could also hear the difference with the subwoofer. Very nice bass coming from the subwoofer. And that's just here. I'm sure if I put it by a corner or by a wall, it sounds much better and rich. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.